A few stray showers possible tonight, and unfortunately, we've got another weekend with cloudy skies and rainy conditions. I'm meteorologist Megan Borowski. This evening, there's a chance for a few showers, mainly east of the I-75 corridor, closer to the St. Johns River. That chance continues overnight. Patchy fog also developing. Notice temperatures, they should stay in the 60s. We'll go from the upper 60s around 8 o'clock and fall into the lower 60s by the morning. Let's talk about your weekend. I don't have good news for you. There'll be a stalled frontal boundary just to our north and we'll have moisture streaming in off the Gulf of Mexico. So widespread showers and storms are expected anywhere from the Big Bend north and west into the Panhandle. You'll notice on future track it actually looks like Gainesville and Ocala might stay dry during the first half of the day tomorrow. Then we have some showers moving on in and uh, during the evening Saturday into Sunday. This mass of rain over the Gulf of Mexico could could push its way into Gainesville and Ocala. One thing that this model does not show is the potential for afternoon thunderstorms popping up and some of those storms could be strong. So let's recap for this weekend on and off showers Saturday and Sunday. Your greatest chances for that widespread rain to our north and west two to four inch accumulations possible there, but then over the peninsula. A few severe thunderstorms are possible. Greatest chance there will be gusty winds. Temperature wise, because of the cloud cover and the rain, we're only going to be in the low to mid 70s. Tomorrow, 74, your forecast high for Valentine's Day, a little bit cooler, a high of 70 degrees. So if you do have plans, make sure they are inside for St. Valentine's Day. Next week, we've got a continued chance of showers each afternoon. It almost looks like our sea breeze pattern will briefly set up for the upcoming work week. Temperatures will be pleasantly mild as well. Highs each day in the mid to upper 70s. 70s.